All right, Ethan, um, mm -hmm. we got a job up in Aurora, so it is a little bit of a drive. Um, you might want to work like four twelves or something, possibly not work Friday, just to utilize the mobilization, but we are doing a 10 by 14 pond with a 10 foot stream. I actually just talked to him yesterday. Um, we're adding a couple things, so I need to get with Matt and work on a design because we are incorporating the patio now. Mm -hmm. um, and we moved it from the backyard to the front yard where there's a little bit more space. So I'm gonna get with Matt, get a design together for you so you can work off that and know exactly what you're doing. Um, but again, um, work order, we're doing black granite. He doesn't mind having a couple peakish rocks, so maybe throw in like a little bit of Denver granite, which has those pink undertones as well. Um, we're gonna need about, uh, for the stream and the pond, we're probably gonna need about 15 tons, so it might make sense just to get them all in one swoop. Right. Um, I am also talking about doing an intake bay, so we might not utilize the skimmer box, we might in, in, yeah. incorporate a intake. Um, one thing that's pretty exciting about this one is, and things that you're gonna have to think through, mm -hmm. is all the bells and whistles. So we have, um, we have a patio edge, so the block wall inside of the pond, we have jets, we have aeration, um, possibly an intake bay. So all of these moving parts um, take a little bit of thinking through and planning ahead to make sure that you're just utilizing your time appropriately, appropriately especially since it's so far away. Um, with that being said, I mean, mini skid, mm -hmm. excavator, um, anything, any questions for me? If there's, oh, we got lights going in here too. Okay. Um, any questions for me? Mm, no, today's just gonna be kind of mobilizing and starting to get it prepped, so. Okay, cool. All um, stuff. So then by the end of the day, I'll have that design for you. Okay, we can go over that. I'm gonna also probably meet him up there for you as well. Cool. To go over everything and then you can drop to the races. Yes, sir. Cool. Yeah. Oh, let me see it. Right, right. It's not even an option. Yeah. Okay. Uh, liner should be out in minutes. Let's see if we can find the liner. In Welcome to Heiner Outdoor Living. We're a team of yardists taking boring, cookie-cutter yards and transforming them into one-of-a-kind backyard retreats. Join us as we bring quality, passion, and fun to yards all across the Colorado Front Range, inspiring life outside. Okay, it's 12 by 15 patio, square right here. Um, but that's the patio. So um, we do have a patio edge coming in. I was thinking about bringing it over here. Six, it's a six-foot patio wall with a pond, in 10 by 14 pond. So 10 by 14 pond coming in here, 10 foot stream. And then there is gonna be an intake bay, which I'm thinking is gonna come over here in this area. Shape of the patio or are they set? Um, just the size or, it, or the location you, of things? I 12 mean, by 15, if, if, if you wanna get creative, get creative. Okay. Just know that the patio edge is six feet. Six feet, okay. Mm -hmm. So it could be like a six foot round section if, if that made more sense, but whatever, Correct. however the design comes together. Yep. Is, and, the, is and he wants the patio closer here to the house because that's where he gets the, a lot of the shade and stuff. That makes sense. The backyard is really tight. We were gonna initially do it back there, but it just was too small of a space to get everything incorporated that he wanted. Okay. So he wants it in the front where he has the space and can actually utilize it. Um, he actually built his own pond's water feature in the back already. Okay. And we were gonna do the pond on the other side of the yard, but uh, he, he changed his mind to do it in the front yard just because of the space and ability to do more things there. Wouldn't it make sense to like, I feel like you've got it backwards. Wouldn't it make sense to have the waterfall come from this direction and have the intake on the lower no, side? No, because one of the biggest reasons and the main purpose of him wanting it here is so he can see that waterfall off the window. Okay, that makes sense. But we're defying gravity, so it's going to be really challenging to try and make this look natural while going against the natural slope. Understood, but that's why we'll just be bringing in a wall back here. It is what it is. Okay. And basically that tree is the only thing that stays. Um, I mean, all, in the lines here, all this rock, like again, we're staying within the sod. We're not going, we're not changing lines. We're not doing edging. We're ripping out the sod and some of this area from here to here for the patio. And that's it. Okay. I'll run with it. I don't know if you have questions. Okay. All right. So this is the project that's going to be starting this week. Um, I've got 
basically basically my list and, and my restrictions of what I have to design and those parameters. And so now what my job is to do is just to take all the things that Marshall and uh, the discussion that's happened and then put those ideas on the paper, make it flow, make it natural, take all of those things, put it into the melting pot and then, you know, keep this design in budget, aesthetically pleasing and satisfy all parties so we can create a win-win project and, um, and relationship moving forward. So for starters, I'll, uh, I'll clean up my lines. I'll get a better understanding of what stays, what goes. Uh, basically, we've got the rock border in these areas. Our uh, restraints for the edge of the work is gonna be within this sod because we're gonna rip out all that sod. So I have a patio in this area. Uh, pond, the idea is that there's a window here, so we wanna capture the view that's coming out. So the 10 foot stream, so like this and having some waterfalls. You know, it's not my favorite thing to do when we have a slope that's going this way, because um, what'll end up happening is I'm gonna have to build like a retaining wall of some sort, you know, with some rocks and build this thing up so that way I can get a natural berm. So I can get some flow going this way, leading into the pond. And so that way, when we're looking out the window that we can see the waterfall. So it defies the laws of gravity, but then what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to think of what is that view going to actually look like when we're in the street, looking at the house. I don't want people to just think that this is the back of a wall or the back of the space. I want this to actually bring some interest and maybe pique the curiosity. So when guests come and they're walking up that front door right here, you know, they'll actually get something and then there'll be a nice porch here and then they'll look back and see the view. And so all these things are going through my head. I need to, you know, it's, it's gonna be a little challenging to make sure that I'm doing all this together so we can uh, create a nice space, keep the curb appeal, maintain the views from inside the house and make all the lines and make everything flow and work and, and still have a natural good looking project at the end of the day.